Welcome back. I'm Claude Sandroff of IP Video Systems. Today I'd like to continue our series of demonstrations showing how our HD video and graphics products are used to enable global collaboration in the enterprise. Today I'm focusing on the live surgical domain, in particular real-time interventional procedures. And there are three key functions that our products perform that make all of this possible. One, we can stream full HD video in real time with very low latency over relatively modest bandwidths. Secondly, everything that we stream over the network can be recorded frame by frame in its full glory for later playback. And when everything is played back, those same HD images can be viewed on the desktop by anybody in the network using the same existing T1 network. So here's a classic uh, surgical environment that where collaboration and training is absolutely essential. We have a surgeon sitting in front of a rather complicated surgical workspace. If you look closely, you can see as many as nine windows. Each of those windows carries key surgical information for the physician. It could be fluoro data, it could be x-ray data, it could be uh, uh, could be blood pressure, it could be many other things that you can imagine are key to making an operation successful. The surgeon needs to have a way of integrating all of those multiple windows into a single HD viewing environment and then being able to send those, uh, those full HD streams anywhere in the world to either surgeons, to students, to a recorder, and finally even to a help desk to help him if he runs into any instrumentation problems live when he's doing the procedure. So here is actual uh, surgical data that we've captured with our systems. What you see in front of you is the kind of complex real-time interventional procedures that are absolutely essential in modern uh, medical environment. So uh, the main image is uh, an x-ray image of a catheter actually moving through the patient's uh, arteries near his heart. All around, I'm not a physician, but I can say that all around you see other data. Uh, it includes uh, car cardo, it includes live fluoro, it includes an ECG, it includes blood pressure, and so on. All of these windows are combined into one single HD display, and what our hardware and software is able to do is to capture that full HD display, compress it, and send it out over a global network so that anybody in the world can view this physician's real-time procedure as he's actually doing it. So in this, in this particular example, the physician is in Milan, and he's streaming this live surgical content to hospitals in the U.S., and in those hospitals in the U.S., there are many people throughout the hospital who can view the procedure. There are other physicians who want to learn about this particular surgical tool. There are students who want to learn from the master as to what he's looking for in the operation. And finally, not everybody, of course, can be present live for a procedure like this. So what we have in the background is, on the network, is one of our uh, highly uh, uh, highly scalable recorders that is recording every single frame so that it can be played back frame by frame for later analysis. In fact, what you're looking ha uh, at here now is uh, this live surgical content that was recorded in our, in our server recorder and then played back for this presentation. So to conclude, um, let me say that we're absolutely delighted that the system that you've seen demonstrated over the last few minutes has actually been deployed uh, globally in some major hospitals throughout the world. And if you go to our website, ipvideosys.com, we have a copy of uh, the video that was shot by one of the local uh, TV stations showing exactly how uh, heart surgeons are deploying this technique today. Again, I just want to leave you with the message that there is no better way to encode high-definition graphics, to send it out with extremely uh, low latency, with high quality, over a global T1 network and to play that back at any time, at any place, to, uh, to learn about surgical techniques, to archive procedures, 
and to train new uh, physicians.